What is the best keyword research tool for YouTube? YouTube search is super important for every channel. And if you look at my analytics for the last year, you'll actually see that 41% of all of my viewers came from YouTube search. You'll see that I'm getting thousands and thousands of viewers for all of these search terms. And there is a secret to how I find these high potential search terms. I've got a lot of these quiet achiever type videos that only get 20 to 30 views every single day from YouTube search. But this is happening every single day for many years. Like this video over here, look at it. It has had 78,000 views, but it is very, very consistent and it just keeps getting more and more views. And the main tool that I personally use and love is SEMrush. Thank you to SEMrush for sponsoring this video. You can get access to use it for free for 14 days if you go to this link that you can see here on the screen. Uh, this link is also in the description below. And yes, it's a paid tool, but if you use my link, you'll get 14 days free access. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Make sure to go via my link because if you go to their site and then click try for free, you'll actually see that the standard free trial is just seven days. But if you use my link, you'll actually get a 14 day pro trial. And this is available exclusively through my link. Now guys, 14 day access is actually enough to find 500 or even a thousand keywords for your channel. So it's super powerful and you can actually achieve a lot in those 14 days. All right, after you've got your SEMrush account from the main dashboard, just click on keyword magic tool. This is where I'm going to be showing you how to use SEMrush for YouTube, specifically for YouTube keyword research. Let me show you some practical examples, specific examples of how I found awesome keywords that are working really, really well for me right now. So let's check out this video. It's a video about how to create a sales funnel for free. And I've made thousands of dollars from this video because I'm recommending a specific tool in this video. Now I knew I wanted to create a video about something to do with sales funnels. And I basically went into SEMrush and I typed in sales funnel and then SEMrush gives me suggestions on the actual searches that people are typing into Google and YouTube every single day. So as I had a look at it, I generally tend to go for how to keywords because people are searching for instructions on how to do certain things. So then I saw this, how to create a sales funnel. And you'll notice that whatever you type in, SEMrush is actually going to suggest all the keywords that have got those words in them. Okay, so this is extremely, extremely powerful. And after I noticed that there is how to, I added how to sales funnel like this, and then I reviewed what is actually available. So here you can see that we've got all of these things, how to create a sales funnels, how to build a sales funnel. I ended up settling for this specific term, how to create a sales funnel for free. Now, why did I do this? Well, because if I make a video for how to create a sales funnel for free, first of all, I will probably rank for keywords that start with how to create a sales funnel. Okay, so I will rank for both most likely. I will rank for how to create a sales funnel and how to create a sales funnel for free. Let's check this. So I'm going to type in how to create a sales funnel for free. And sure enough, my video is right here. It's basically ranking on position number two. And if I also check for how to create a sales funnel, I will see that I'm also ranking on position one, two, three, four. Okay, on position four. So I've been pulling in traffic for over a year. It's not a lot, but it is getting a lot of traffic for me. So if I'm looking at this list of keywords and then I think, okay, maybe I will create a video about how to create a sales funnel for free. I wonder if this is a good idea or not. Is there a lot of competition? To validate, make sure that you open YouTube in an incognito tab so you're not logged in. This way you're getting completely independent results. YouTube doesn't know your previous search history or watch history. And then I will generally take this keyword that I'm considering and I'll enter it into YouTube search. I'll press enter and then I'll review the results. When I'm reviewing the results, I'm looking at two specific things. One is, are there many videos over here that have got every single word from my search phrase in the title of the video? So that is the first thing. So I'm looking for how to create sales funnel for free and I'm going to review all of the results here. So here we've got, yes, we've got Jillian's um, video, how to create a sales funnel for free. So that one has got it. It means that there is at least some competition. There is my video. There is another video, how to create a sales funnel for free in 20 minutes. Okay, so someone else has made a video like this. I think it was after I created mine because I have shown this idea before. So a lot of people kind of use the ideas that I share that's happened many times and they start making their own versions of the video 
You can see someone else has made a video about it. Okay, free sales funnel course. Okay, so this one, for example, this video is ranking, but it is it does not contain every single word of this in the title. And generally, YouTube tries to serve up search results that are very, very relevant to what the user is typing in. Okay, so the fact that there is uh, a video that's showing up that in the title does not have every single word means that there is not a lot of competition. All right, so here we've got another create a sales funnel for free. Then we've got a couple of videos that are not very relevant. So basically right now I've got about four or five competing videos in the top 10 of this search result. So that's one thing that I look at. The second thing that I look at is how old are those videos? Because right now, if I take a look at the results, the, some of the videos or most of the videos are actually quite old. Two years ago, one year ago, one year ago, one year ago, one year ago, three years ago. So th there are actually no videos here in the top 10 results that are recent. And that is a very good thing. It means that if you make a video and it's a good video, you make a video about this today and you upload it, you're actually gonna have a pretty good chance of ranking because YouTube loves to serve up new videos. So even though you see a lot of competition, but all the videos are one, two or three years old, you can totally make a video and you'll have an awesome chance of ranking. I've done this time and time again. And this is probably one of the reasons why I made this video and why it's still doing well, because it's one of the more recent videos on this topic. Another example is this one here, Contact Form 7 WordPress tutorial. So you can see that this video has been live for about two and a half years, not getting a ton of traffic, like 50 views a day, so not a lot at all. But it has had 65,000 views in total since I made it. So I mean, over time, it all adds up. And this is exactly why YouTube can be very, very passive. So like if we were just having a chat and I told you, look, you're gonna get a video that's gonna get like 50 views a day. Do you think that you would be interested in making this video? Most likely people would say, nah, it's not worth it. But if you look at it over the course of many years, how many views you can get, it is absolutely worth it. All right, so let's have another practical example. And here we're going to try to find a keyword together from scratch. And here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to type in how to hammer toes. Okay, assuming that, for example, you've got a fitness channel or kind of like a health channel. So hammer toes is a medical uh, thing that can happen to people's toes on their feet. And I'm just going to say that I want to find out what kind of keyword ideas SEMrush can give me uh, about hammer toes, how to do something with hammer toes. Okay, so let's hit search here. And we've now got a ton of suggestions here, how to fix hammer toe, how to fix hammer toes with tape. Okay, so there's something about tape that we can do, how to treat a hammer toe, how to prevent hammer toe, how to avoid hammer toes. So all of these is actually separate video ideas. You can make a video about how to cure hammer toe, you can make another one about how to avoid it, another one about how to prevent it. You can make another video about how to tape a hammer toe. That's also a distinctly different idea. So let's take a look at all of these ideas in an incognito window. So let's start with how to tape a hammer toe. All right, so I'm here inside the incognito window and I've started typing in how to tape a hammer toe like this. So I can definitely see that there are suggestions that are coming up. It means that it's a real term that people are actually typing in. So let's that's, that's a good thing. That's a big tick for us, okay? Uh, so how to tape a hammer toe, let's click this and let's see what the results actually are. Um, first of all, I'm going to look at whether how to tape a hammer toe, whether that appears in the title of the competing videos. So this video is, by the way, old, okay? But yes, we've got that here, how to tape a hammer toe. There's another one, how to tape claw toes, hammer toes. This one is not exactly relevant. It says hammer toes kinesio taping, okay. So not exactly what the user types in, so it's a little bit less relevant. Hammer toe taping, also not exactly what the user types in. And hammer toes, okay, so it doesn't say how to tape a hammer toe, it just says hammer toes. Basically, now we're starting to see that at positions five, six, etc., the videos become less and less relevant. Now let's apply our second criteria, and the second criteria is, are there a lot of recent videos. So this video is four years old. This video is six years old. This one is five years old. Then we've got three years old. So all the videos are actually really old. And as I told you before, YouTube loves 
fresh videos because YouTube knows that things change a lot and uh, YouTube is mostly about serving up new high quality content. As long as your content is good and it's relevant and it's recent, you'll have a really good chance of outranking all the other older videos. So just like that, we've actually found a really good search term, how to tape a hammer toe. Look, a lot of videos there have got hundreds of thousands of views, 113,000, 252,000, so they're ranking and they're quietly just getting this traffic every single day they're getting this search traffic. So definitely don't be put off by low search volumes here in SEMrush because this is not an exact search volume, it's an approximation. Uh, so generally try to check all of these on YouTube. YouTube will tell you how many searches you can get because these videos, they're not viral videos, okay? Like it's not, this video is not going viral and everyone's just looking at this hammer toe information. This kind of search, terms, which are how to do something, are mostly people typing stuff into YouTube and then YouTube actually serving this in search results over time. So this will give you a pretty good idea of how much traffic you can get just looking at the search counts of all the videos. And honestly, this would be pretty much impossible if I was not using SEMrush for this because SEMrush has got the largest database of keywords that you can search. And you can just type in like little parts of key phrases and SEMrush will then give you these massive lists of different search phrases that you can search. And one more example that I would like to share with you is this video over here that has been live also for about three years, 164,000 views, only gets about 100, 140 views every single day, but it is very consistent. And of course, it is all from YouTube search. If we go into reach, you will see that they're all about the searches on how to create a landing page for free or just how to create a landing page. Okay, so all of these, I mean, it's just so consistent. It's crazy. And again, of course, I found this idea through SEMrush. So I use the keyword magic tool, how to landing page search, and let's see the results that I'm going to get through this. So you can see there are actually 3,529 different suggestions. So to my point earlier that SEMrush has got the largest database of keywords out of all the keyword tools. This is the keyword that I chose that I made my video about. The search volume was only 260, but as you've seen, I've actually had over 100,000 views on this video. But you can totally just keep going down the list and you can go for any of these keywords. You will literally never run out of ideas for what kind of videos to make if you use SEMrush for keyword research for YouTube. Like, look at this, how to optimize a landing page, okay? So this is something that I think not many people have ever thought of how to optimize a landing page. And unless you've got access to SEMrush, you're actually never gonna even find out about this keyword. All right, so let's see. Um, YouTube actually gives us a few suggestions how to optimize landing page for Google Ads for conversion for SEO. But let's just go with how to optimize landing page. And look at this. The first result is five years old, okay? And there is not actually this, these keywords, how to optimize landing page does not appear in the title of the video anywhere. Let's go down a bit more. Landing page test to skyrocket conversions and opt-ins. Again, how to optimize landing page does not appear in the title. Does not appear in the title. Does not appear in the title. Well, kind of does a little bit, but not much. Landing page optimization. It, it's not exactly how to optimize landing page. So guys, once again, just like this, we found another idea. If you make a video about how to optimize a landing page, Okay, you will have a great chance of outranking this video because it's five years old and it doesn't even have that in its title. All right, and you'll probably outrank this one as well because three years ago, 80,000 views and does not have how to optimize landing page in the title of the actual video. So if you make a good video about how to optimize a landing page, put this in the title, make sure it's a good video, create a good thumbnail, then you're actually gonna have a really high chance of ranking for this keyword. Of course, not every single keyword, not every single video works out. Uh, I have a success rate of about 60 to 70%, about 20 or 30% of the videos that I make, they just don't rank for whatever reason. Maybe the video is not good enough. It is just how content marketing actually works. It's the same with websites. But by using SEMrush for your research, the way that I've shown you, I've given you plenty of examples in this video, you're actually gonna drastically increase your success chance so I highly recommend that you use SEMrush 
For your YouTube keyword research, like I personally think that it is actually the best YouTube keyword search tool. And if you guys click the link in the description below or go to this link over here, I'm gonna show it here on the screen. You will be able to get a special deal, which is a 14 day pro trial of SEMrush. 14 days, now in 14 days, you can do a lot. Just set a few of these days aside, and I know that in these 14 days, you will be able to find hundreds and hundreds of keywords. And of course, with the results that you're gonna get from this tool, I'm sure that you're gonna like to keep this tool as well. But either way, within these 14 days, you really can find a ton of keywords. I honestly think that you should at least give this a try if you've never used SEMrush. It's a crazy powerful tool. It is so, so useful for YouTube keyword research. I personally use it every single time that I'm posting a video, so I super highly recommend it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button just underneath. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And after you've done that, go ahead and watch this video next. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dramatically increase your YouTube views. So go ahead and watch this video next. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.